Action SA has launched its election manifesto. The party will contest the national elections for the first time since its formation. SABC News reporter Kenny Mapanga covered the launch for us and joins us now. Kenny, thank you so much for your time. Of course, uh, as we say in the intro, this is the first time that uh, the um, Action SA is actually running for these elections, uh, provincial as well as national elections, having participated in the 2021 municipal elections. Just talk to us about about what are some of the key points uh, that came out of this manifesto? Well, indeed, Anati, uh, thank you so much to you and the viewers at home. Uh, Action SA has just concluded its manifesto here at Ellis Park Arena, which uh, included thousands of supporters coming here to Gauteng from all parts of South Africa's society across the length and breadth to hear Herman Mashaba's plan in a very critical election where political parties are trying to claim their stake during a period where there are a lot of challenges and South Africans are looking for a number of answers. Now, the Action SA's chairperson, Michael Beaumont, has confirmed that they've received that communication from the IEC that they've met all the submission requirements to be on the ballot paper, confirming that Action SA wishes to contest all nine provinces for the first time. Now, they know... They may be new to the national and provincial elections. However, they have contested in the local government elections. And as it stands, they have 90 seats across various municipalities. Three of the metros in Kauteng, they've managed to grab some seats. That is the city of Tswane, Kurleni, and Johannesburg. Some of those municipalities, they were able to knock the EFF and become the third biggest party there. So now when we highlight some of the key issues that have come up in Herman Mashaba's rap, or rather his manifesto presenting a plan to quote-unquote fix South Africa. The first is where we can start is that within five years of government, they say that they will launch a program that will result in the private sector creating over 4.8 million new real jobs by 2029. They also go to the second plan, which is their second priority, which is to end load shedding within two years in government. So in their plan, they state that to deal with load shedding, they'll end nepotism at ESCOM to ensure that the entity is staffed with highly skilled employees who are appointed based on meritocracy and competency, not political affiliation. They've also attacked combating crime in the energy system by declaring the stealing and vandalizing of public property, such as electricity lines and substations, as economic sabotage through legislation. So they're saying that this is something that should have been done a decade ago, rather, a Nazi. And their third priority, they've spoken of economic inclusive and economic justice. Now, you may remember they're one of the parties that are rejecting this transformative policy of black economic empowerment. They've stated that in the 30 years of our democracy, the policy's intention has not been realized in our society. And only the political elites have seemingly benefited from such a policy, a sentiment which has been shared by other political opposition parties, as well as some members of society that have lamented their stagnation through the 30 years of democracy. Number four, they've spoken about restoring the rule of law stamping out corruption and fighting the scourge of drug abuse and gender-based violence in South Africa. Now, they've tackled crime and violence in South Africa, which is something that is required to be addressed as it was one of the economic drivers of crime. And then when we move to the last priority, I think this will be one of the biggest talking points on our team for the 2024 elections, which is immigration. We've seen over the past few years the rise of anti-immigrant groups, which has resulted in the governing party have to come up with a migration policy framework to address these challenges of our poorest borders. Now, Action SA is part of those groups that are saying that we need to strengthen our borders. They're arguing in their five plan is that they will secure our borders and prioritize South Africa's interests by bringing an end to the inflow of illicit goods into the country while streamlining legal immigration. Attacking home affairs, saying that there will be an overhaul of that system and that anyone who creates fraudulent identity documents, such a crime will be treated as treason. So we'll see throughout the elections how this talking point of immigration will affect the overall performance of political parties as we head to the 29 May 2024 election, where Action SA is committing to fix South Africa, quote unquote, fix South Africa through its plan of action in these five key priorities that I've highlighted here from Ellis Park Arena, delivered by its leader, Herman Mashabab.